What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is your boy Q, the content guy, and I am back with a brand new review for a brand new episode of Married to Medicine, Season 9, Episode 10, Hollow Slay, a.k.a. So Much Toy You Hate. So, um... Let's go and get into it because this episode was kind of confusing at the end. Um, but let's start from the beginning. So the show opens up with Cecil and Simone. Uh, they have Toya, Eugene, Audra, her husband Martin, and Quad over for dinner to pretty much add add them to their book. Like last time, they had um, Contessa Scott, you uh, Contessa Scott, Heavily, and uh, Damon over last time. So this time it's for the other couples and quad. Um. So, Toya and I, I and Toya Ard, Audra walks in and they're like in jeans and a shirt, and Toya's like, you know, um, oh, did you guys just come from somewhere? And they're like, no, this is how we come to dinner. And she's just like, oh, which to me wasn't a dig. It was like, oh, did you guys? Because everybody else was dressed up. Everybody had heels on, hats suits on and it was just like oh did you, you know, maybe they didn't get the memo so but of course Audra felt some kind of way <sighs> y'all y'all may like the, that chick I don't mm, okay let me just go on with the review child because let me get my glasses on um, her confession she's like you if you want to be my stylist you can find it girl shut up so um they're talking about uh, their marriages and you know how thing when things are good you want to be around each other but when things are bad you want to bring up like remember when you did X Y and Z fifteen years ago or blah 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 and I really can appreciate that because one thing about married to medicine they are going to bring drama they're going to bring knowledge they're going to bring health married to medicine is one of my favorite uh shows in general not just reality shows but one of my favorite shows and i like when you know like i said it gives you a mixture of everything so um they're talking about you know um when they're mad how toya was like you know when he's mad you can't get away from it but you don't want him to sleep in the same bed and the ladies pretty much was like you know on the same page simone brought up a time where cecil had pissed her off so bad she went and slept in the guest room and cecil came and slept with you know with you know got in the bed with her and it's kind of one of those things where we can be mad we're not we can be mad but we're gonna sleep in the same bed together and i understand it um i've done both you know i've gotten pissed off and I'm like, I'm going to sleep in the other room. Or I've gotten pissed off and just got in the bed, but don't touch me. So, you know, um, it's a mixture. So they start talking about, like, they start, Toya brings up, like, you know, friendships and, and having the respect for it. And Quad brings brings up, you know, friendships could be downhill, but just baby steps to work towards it to make it better. <sighs> then Audra brings up this being a safe space and talks about, because, you know, you call me a bad attorney. And I'm like, girl, she's like, as long as I got my man, I don't need no friends. I'm like, okay, Dr. Evanly. And I'm like, girl, you are dragging out this whole bad attorney. She said it in the midst of y'all drinking, in the midst of y'all having fun. She didn't sit down and have no full-blown argument with you about it. She didn't say anything. And then, you know, Quad, as she does, staring at the pod, and she was like, you know, when we were in... Audrey was like, when we were in Vegas, Quad said you were talking about me because I came in through a champ with a champion outfit on. And I understand what Toya was trying to say. I just think her delivery was wrong. Toya pretty much was trying to say what what Toya was saying was, well, first of all, I'm gonna tell you what she said. She said, you know, we're up here like this, and you're like down here looking like that. What I think Toya was trying to say was everybody's dressed up, looking nice in their best. And here you come down the hallway in a damn sweatsuit looking a fool. Um, and I agree. If we everybody out having a good time, we all look good, then yes, you need to get your shit together. And for you to be on a reality show and say you don't care about fashion, you don't have no tip skin because the audience going to eat you up. The, the You already look a fool. That white confessional looks looks horrible on you. Um, she says, you know, I don't care about fashion. I don't care about brands. And Toya was like, nobody cares about brands. 
you know, yes, I like labels, but it's not the most important thing. And she's like, well, you're wearing labels right now. And Tony's like, yeah, bitch, because they cute. They some cute earrings. Like, Arja, girl, what are you standing on? Shut up. And of course, everybody's online like, well, that's why I told you, you know, she's too busy doing this and doing that. What kills me is y'all running with the narrative that Toya and Eugene don't have any money. They on, a, on they are on a reality show. They've been on the show for nine years. Toya, if if not making a million, is making damn near between eight hundred and a million a season. Where she don't have no money at, and the people that's commenting about her not having no money probably don't have a damn that damn dime to their name. And she keep moving. Okay, she moved four times. Like it, these people, child. I get that y'all invested, but y'all do know this is a reality show, right? Like this is a reality show. Okay, she moved. So the fuck what? She spent money on stuff. So the fuck what? Y'all, everybody buy shit that they ain't supposed to buy all the damn time. Like, come on, people. Um, and then Carl had the nerve to say in her confessional, you know, Toya is very judgmental because all she thinks about it, she's so wrapped up in material things. Let me move on because baby quad girl shut the fuck up um they bring up being alpha females and you know pretty much they, the men don't want nobody they can run over and they don't want no punk but then also sometimes it's a detriment because they don't always want to hear what they have to say so eugene is being vulnerable he apologizes to toya about um you know not being there for them for her last year and stuff like that and it's so funny because everybody trying to say toya say this about eugene this about you. she said what she said about eugene was wrong but she didn't say anything about the size she just said it doesn't get any bigger she didn't say oh it was small it was this it was that i just don't understand the toya hate i just i don't get it toy um quad is meeting with the party planner she's going over her um details for the part i must say quad's house is beautiful i know she did a tour online i'm not sure what i just saw it on youtube i'm not sure who did the tour but i must say her house is beautiful and you know big ups to quad and, and again i like quad this season quad has not gotten on my nerves quad is not doing the most i mean she's throwing shade here and there but there has been past seasons where i was like she do, does not have to come back but i actually enjoy quad this season um we're skipping past the Nina house. I don't give a fuck about Nina. Um, it's the night of Quartz uh, holiday party. All the ladies arrive. And Anila brings her whole fucking family: the mother, the sister, the other sister, the sister down the street, this sister, the other mother, the father, the brother, the kids, the children. Miss Gomez come back. Like girl, she the boy. Um, child, honey, Anila walked in looking a fool, and Toya, honey, call her an ice skater, bitch. I was a hot one. You hear me? Anila looks about. She wish she could wear a dress like that. Actually, she does not. Nobody does. You look a fool. You look a fool. Give Tanya Harding her dress back. Um, and Heavenly is actually the voice of reason. Surprisingly, she was like, um, Toya, uh, um. Alina bought the girl who was talking. So that is, I'm like, is the, I forgot the girl name, but I'm like, is that your sister or is that, or is that one of your friends? Well, anyway, she brings the girl who to, who says Toya was sleeping with somebody in the neighborhood. She brings up to Jackie and she's like, that's not what we do to wear sisterhood. And I was like, oh, okay, Heavenly, look at you. Um, Quad starts giving this long ass speech. Y'all know Quad, honey, one thing about her, mamas can talk. <laughs> mamas can talk she can't do nothing else she can talk but she's just pretty much giving kudos to herself and i agree with what simone said like you ain't gotta give uh, you know let us know because bitch we can see what you're doing kudos to you big ups you doing your thing um so the party's going on everybody's having a good time anila like a little punk that she is wants to you know gather the girls up to say Toya said something about my figure skate outfit and I know I look a mess but she said something about my outfit um I was just like okay they all go inside they're all sitting down and Quad brings over her best friend and this is so this is where everything gets confusing for me so Quad brings over her best friend and she's like you know this is my best friend first of all they all been drinking she went to like, you know, we met because we had on the same Easter dress. Toya was like, I had on the same dress too. And I think Quad was like, girl, that's my house. Let me talk. But I think Quad was joking. And then all of a sudden, Audrey gets up and she's like, every time you go inside somebody's house, you're talking shit about them. 
And she's looking at Kawhi like, don't she always talking shit? And I'm like, wait, did we, did something get, I, th- I felt like something got edited out because the way she went up and was turning up on Toya, I couldn't understand because I'm like, Toya's never been in your house from what we've seen. We going, what we see off of the show. We're not going behind the scenes. We're not talking about that. We're talking about what we've seen on the show. We have never seen you and we've seen you and Toya interact two times. That well, three times. That was in Vegas. That was uh, both times were in Vegas, and then the other time was at Simone's house. So before then, we have never seen y'all interact with each other, right? Again, we're basing this off of what we see on the show. This is where it gets confusing for me because I'm like, the way she piped up and was trying to act like she was reading somebody, I'm like, we had to miss something. So she gets up and she's like, Toya's always talking shit about people, and I don't rock with her. Even before then, um, even before then, when they were sitting outside, Heavenly was like, hey, have you talked to Toya? And she's like, no, Toya rubs me the wrong way, and I just can't put up with it anymore. And I'm like, bro, what y'all doing down there? Because we missing some big parts that will make it add up. There's just something that's just not sitting right. So anyway, she gets up and she starts trying to say, you know, um, she gets, she brings out her phone. She starts to calculate Toya's finances. She's like, you sold your house for a million. Toya's like, no. She's like, you bought the house for two, you sold it for 2.9 and then you bought it for one, 2.1 and you only made 800,000 then you owe this person and that person your seven liens and this and that and everybody is looking at her like it didn't hit so like everybody was like oh she did that she did that when we saw the preview but when we actually saw it in person it was like girl you wasn't hitting on nothing you were looking for a moment you didn't get the moment sit your motherfucking ass down that raggedy ass dress you got on sit down you trying to be that girl but you're not because it didn't hit on anything dumbass who the fuck is you a lawyer or not sit your ass down some damn where um so again like i said she was looking for a moment it didn't work child it didn't work so much honey someone was like so anyway we're gonna leave and so he was like no i'm gonna be nice and then she's like yeah be nice you're not gonna be nice that was weird it was weird as shit and then all of a sudden um uh what's her name fucking the, the indian chick with that dumbass hair. Oh, Alina starts to um as that's what I'm saying. Like something happens. Toya was like, We're not talking about you. And then Alina was like, Oh, she was oh, I know. Okay. Toya was like, I'm not talking about you. And and Alina was like, Yes, you are. And Toya's friend was like, No, she's actually not. And then she <laughs> Now, I just told y'all, everybody, that she wore to the party, right? So, Toya had one of her friends. Clearly, Quad was okay with her bringing her friend. So, An- so Anila goes and says, I don't even know why you're here. Toya, why did you bring your friend? And I know you was over there, side eye me, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And Toya friend, I forgot her damn name. But Toya friend was looking at her like, girl, pipe the fuck down before you get punched in your goddamn mouth. And I was like, punch her. Punch her in her fucking mouth. Um... But she pretty much checked her. She was like, pipe down. And then she stood up and walked over to her. And she was pretty much like, girl, shut the fuck up. You don't want no work over here. And even Toya was like, girl, you might want to stop. Let me tell y'all something. Toya friend was going to wear that whole couch out. You hear? <laughs> she was going to wear that couch out. <laughs> That's kind of girl. That's kind of girls I roll with. Bitch. Like, honey, I'm going to fuck where we at. What's up? So, um... So they get her to calm down, and then Anila, gosh, because now she's scared and nervous, right? So they go to sit down, and then Anila's friend is like, because you don't, you know, Toya was like, I'm actually not talking about you. And Anila's friend was like, oh, Anila was like, this used to be your friend. And um, Toya was like, she wasn't my friend. She was the neighbor. Anila was like, you fucked up the, fucked up the whole neighborhood. And she was like, what are you talking about? I'm so confused. Everybody was confused. Like, girl, what are you talking about? And then Anila's friend was like, because you don't want me to open my mouth. But Anila, you mad because Toya bought somebody. You bought somebody who's starting shit. Tell her shut the fuck up. Tell her ain't nobody talking to her. Girl, you such a waste of fucking air time. Oh, I can't stand that fucking girl. Ugh, bring back Mariah. So she doing all this extra shit. Trying to, you know, just trying to solidify her spot. I hope I hope at the fucking reunion, Toya eat her fucking ass up. I can't stand that fucking girl. 
or her ugly ass husband. So then Toya sits down and, and Heavenly was like, you know, they're talking about saying that you pretty much slept with somebody in the neighborhood. And at this point, Toya's already pissed. Toya's on Toya's on a thousand. She heavily trying to have before Heavily could finish what she was saying. Toya was like, one of you bitches said something. Which one of you bitches said I slept with somebody in the neighborhood? Who it is? I take my shoe off and put it in your face. Her, AKA bitch, I will fuck you up. Stop playing with me. Stop playing in my goddamn face. And this is where I say Anila's a punk. You had all that fucking mouth. She called you out. You ain't say shit. You or your goddamn friend, y'all sitting there looking stuck. And Audrey, where you at? Because you ain't say nothing either, sis. You big and bad. And it looked like next episode, Toya popped you in your damn mouth. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't. Like, why y'all playing with Toya's hut? Like her, her marriage and shit like that. Like, oh, they always want to come for people's marriages and stuff like that. Anila's just so whack to me. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Anila is so fucking whack to me. Anila Wack, Audrey Wack. Like, I, I'm, I've am i come to accept Heavenly and things like that. The rest, the, Anila can go and Audrey, girl, we don't, we definitely don't need, you don't need to be no friend of the show. If you are a friend of the show, be like Carrie and sit there and shut the fuck up. Anyway, that was the episode. It goes off. It's to be continued next week. The fight happens. And like I said, it looked like Toya punched Anila, uh, Audrey in her mouth. To me, you punched the wrong goddamn girl in the mouth. But anyway, that was that. Um, Anila caught herself trying to confront Heavenly about some shit that she said she started, but girl, you the one that you the one that bought somebody along. I don't know. Anyway, it was a mess. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, mm -mm -mm. Mary the Medicine did it again. Y'all better stop playing with Toya. And in case you don't know, honey, season one when her and Mariah was out there, bitches fighting in ball gowns when Lucy was hitting. <laughs> Baby, when Lucy was hitting with, with that person, they were trying to break that fight up and Qual ran over there in that dress and everybody fell. Baby. And Carrie wanted them goddamn niggas up out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Anyway, that is my review, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy and I hope y'all understand where I was coming from. Anila can go. Anyway, I gotta go. Enjoy your night. Like, enjoy your night. Like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other reviews, and I'll see you all Wednesday for Beverly Hills. Peace.